come down now. Uh -huh. Now pay attention, my people. Just pay attention attentively. Uh -huh. Why this one they drive rubbish? Where they run to? How many people find some auto like AT? When are they go? What can happen? Are you listening? Ha! Kilo day! Just to side them. If they have nothing, Abi? Eh. Uh, yeah. I'm that sure is they exactly drive what is happening is today. They when they do like this, I am bringing a life to like the people. people. Carry your bag, carry your bag. Too bad, right? Uh. Uh. Kilo de. Uh -uh. Ah. 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 Your bag, your bag, your bag. Carry your bag. And your bag, 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 No get bag. No say me a me a bitch. I mean I take camera. Eh, we. When are they go? Lagos. Ah, like taxi and this one. Which work? And I won't go to Lagos. Hello, great people. Great people. Freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, are great people all over the world. You are welcome back again to IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Namdekano. My name's Om, Mazi Okenina Okechuku, known as Biafran Chaidunwa Chineke, the general. My great people, this message is straight to Southerners. This message that I'm bringing to my people today is for the Southerners, mostly the Westerners, the Western of that contraption called Daminebu Zoo, the Yoruba Odudua people. I want us to pay attention to this. Why I said that this message is straight to the Southerners because uh, there is adage in my place said, "Na ifo abuna metranya, ometugisi." That is why we have to understand that everything that is happening in the West, we definitely shift to East. That is why we have to take precaution. That is why we have to defend ourselves at all times. Like I always tell my people, jihadists is there. The uh, Islamist Wahhabists, they have been taking their position. And I also want to let this Yoruba people, Yoruba Odudua, understand that they have already rounded their bushes. Go to Ondo, go to Ogun State. Make sure you deal with these people. Make sure you chase them away from your land. Because we, the Easterners, we are doing our best. We are countering them. We are telling them they are not, they, there is no place for them in our place. There is no place for them in our land. That is why I'm saying. Now, I just want us to just analyze this video that we just finished watching right now in a few minutes. And then you'll begin to understand. These people, they are coming from Sahel. These people are food soldiers of Fulani, jihadists. Wahhabist and Islamist, they are coming to kill and maim and destroy. And I want our people to understand that. Of course, sometimes when you have been saying this, some people will say you don't know what you're saying. Or sometimes some people will say it's old video. This is a latest video. I want us to understand that these people have been taking their position. I want us to understand that these people are coming to take over ethnic cleansing. They are not going to spell anybody. They are not going to spell anybody like I said. And being you a Christian, that is not the problem. The problem is like these people are coming for conquest. Now let me talk about the video like I said. 
in details and then you will begin to understand that everything that i said is reality because i always come here to bring reality to my people so that they will understand what is going on how to defend themselves how to stop it before it will come to them that is why we're here and we are not going to stop also ask the bbc where are they have they make an investigation about those people they are packing like animals tell bbc to go and make investigation they will never make any investigation they are the most disinformation, the most disinformation newsroom in the whole wide world. That is BBC for you. They will keep on lying and fabricating lies every day, concocting story, brainwashing our people because they want to suck us and milk us dry. That is why they will keep on doing what they are doing. But we have already come to tell them that all those things that they are saying is lie. Now I want us to look deeply into those people who are inside the box. They are saying they are going to Lagos to do what? Just ask yourself to do what? They are going to Lagos. And just, I want us to look, look more deeply into those people. You see how they pack those people like animals. You see, I want you to go and look the trailer of animals like cows. When they are bringing cows to from north to west over to south you see how they pack them they will pack them like they are nobody like animal because the, the the cows of course they are animals they will pack them like animals but i want you to also look deeply into these people that they are inside this bus you will see that they pack them like animal they put i mean i mean they put them stage by stage in a small bus they put almost i don't know how many of them I don't know how many of them. They, 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 I mean, they, uh, the reporter was saying there are almost 80 people in a small bus. And there is no clothes. These people have no clothes. These people have no bag. Now, ask them. My question to people now, or to BBC, or those people that are going to make investigation. Because, of course, there is no investigation. Just imagine that people are coming from nowhere. They are trooping into Lagos. That is how they will start destroying the properties of the Igbo people, properties of the Biafran people living in Lagos, destroying and maiming their businesses, trying to crumble, because that is their aim, to crumble their business so that we will go back to square one, so that we will begin to bow, bow down for them, for us to listen their order. Now you understand what I'm talking about, my great people. See how they pack these people like animals. No bag. No anything, no clothes at all. Where are they going to find the clothes they are going to wear? Where is their properties? People that are coming. My question to you people, those of you that, they, that you are a southerners that are traveling to north, when you are traveling to north, are they packing you people like animal? Are you people going like animal? Are you people, are you people always have your bag with you? Some clothes some little money some some small foods to i mean to 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 i mean to help yourself on the journey but these people are coming from sahel they are coming from senegal they are coming from Chad. no bag no nothing nothing now begin to ask yourself a question that to show you that these people have already there is already made equipment for these people their clothes where they will stay they, you know these people have already arranged the, the things that they want to use. So or, or what they are just doing to them now is just to pack them like animals inside the bus so that they will get people convinced. They will get people confused that they, they, they don't know. And the, the driver said, the, 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 uh, the reporter said that you see how the man was running so fast because he want to make sure that he beat all the whole uh, police, uh, I mean, checking point or, I mean, uh, things that are, that are going to uh, stop, them, stop them on the way. The guy is running so fast to make sure he beat every security there. But unfortunately, he failed. They failed. They feel woefully. But I want us to understand that these people are jihadists. These people that have already uh, uh, taken their position, they only just want to bring their foot soldiers. None of them speak uh, Yoruba. None of them speak even though Aosa. When you ask them, they will be speaking, I don't know what they, they speak. Because they have told them that Nigeria is their country. They are trooping to take over what belongs to them. And I will keep on telling my people, that Nigeria belongs to Fulani. Of course, some of you people won't understand what I'm talking about. And Nigeria is Islamized nation. Nigeria is Islamic nation. There is no two ways about it. That is why today Deborah just, uh, uh, I don't know what she, uh, she did, they stoned the lady to death and burned, him to, burned her to ashes. And some of them are there telling us that we are in a secular state. Now you begin to understand. 
I greet you, great people of Biafra. Like I said, this message is straight, straight to Southerners. It's straight to Southerners. It does not matter where you come from. It does not matter you come from Biafra land. It does not matter you come from Yoruba Odudua. But we want us to understand that as far as this thing getting to Yoruba, probably some of them will try to smuggle their people down to uh, eastern uh, 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 Biafra, which is uh, eastern region of Biafra. Uh, yes, they will try to, I mean, trying to find a way to push them there. But uh, we are there to, to, to deal with them because... We have said it time without number. We have a problem with nobody. We have no problem with anybody. That we do, our hands are clean. We are in. We are loving people. We don't have a problem with Fulani. We don't have a problem with uh, what they call it. They are also people. Common Fulanis, we don't have a problem with that. But we have a problem with Mayati Allah. We have a problem with terrorists. We have a problem with uh, all the jihadists, Wahhabis, uh, 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 Islamists. We have a problem with bandits. We have a problem with Boko Haram. All these people that I mentioned, we must always have a problem with them because they are coming to kill and maim and destroy and take over our land. The common Fulanese, the common Aosa people, we don't have a problem with them. How can we have a problem with people that believe that the ideology of Biafra must come? So, of course, we have been telling them come to our city and rent a house and leave. And of course, if Biafra comes today, uh, you cannot tell me that we can, you cannot find a full animal living in land of Biafra. Of course, they will build a bind with the rules and regulation of the land. That is the people we want. And we, you see, that's why we are saying all this. We hate nobody. But that is something that people have to understand. But BBC, we go and turn this upside, upside down, begin to say that we hate people. Great people of Biafra. Freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, do the needful and save souls. Good day and welcome.